one of the most important problems that we need to solve is how to, how to be together. How do, okay, we have a project, we've got six people, how are we going to coordinate and make decisions and, and be productive and so on? Like that to me is the first collective intelligence problem to solve. Before we make an app or something like this, it's just how do we, sh how do, we do democracy with six people? Mm -hmm. And having the face-to-face -face time where you can see each other's eyeballs and have the affection and uh, go out and have uh, a vino after you're finished working and have that, that warmth and connection and, and sense of shared purpose and belonging, all of that stuff to me is the, the trust and connection is this foundation, this basis to work on. So it'd be very difficult to do it without the face-to-face, -face, I think. Uh, the short version of that is I made an argument that there are groups of different sizes that have different properties. Um, so there's a group of maybe six, seven, eight people uh, like you have on a project like this uh, where you can have a lot of productivity and a lot of impact and not a lot of bureaucracy and structure. And then there's another group which is like 100 people, 200 people where you can have a lot of community feeling and, and um, sense of shared purpose. And those two group sizes, I think, are really important to people feeling happy and well and like psychologically. They need to have membership, I think, in these, in these groups. And I, th I think a lot of people don't have great experiences in those groups. And when they've got them, then they're, um, they can perform really, really well. They can work really, really hard and they have, they have good ideas. So I'm really focused on getting people securely established into these small groups. So they, then they can work on the big group problem, the million group people. Well, at the moment we have uh, collective violence, collective ignorance, collective stupidity. We are a bunch of animals that are destroying our habitat and we need to change our behavior very rapidly if we're going to survive another generation, two, three generations. So we need to, we need to grow up. As a species, we need to come out of being a teenager and be an adult and learn how to work together. It's, it's critical.